In the evolution of business change is the only constant. Picture this, 3000 years ago in the 8th century BC in India, where the first firms known as Shrini could independently enter contracts, own property, and yes, even sue and be sued. Fast forward to 960 AD during China's Song Dynasty, the birth of gunpowder, printing presses, paper money, and the first partnerships and joint stock companies. Then around 1500 AD government-backed firms like the Dutch East India Company began building global trading empires, floating stocks and bonds on new exchanges as their goods floated around the world. The Industrial Revolution in 1790 saw companies like Wedgwood standardizing processes once done by hand, giving birth to a new breed of consumers. In the 1830s, U.S. railroad companies became the first truly modern management organizations. By 1870, founder-led trusts emerged, spawning monopolies in multiple industries. With trusts outlawed by the 1920s, these were replaced by professionally managed corporations. Management became a career. With each passing era, business continued to evolve and it's no different today. The firm of the future? It's hard to predict with certainty, but some trends are clear. Technology will allow companies to achieve scale and retain customer intimacy. Power will shift from managers to the experts who deliver to customers. Companies will own only mission-critical assets, relying on external ecosystems for the rest. Investors will invest in companies and projects. And every company will have two engines, one for today's power and another for the future's potential. The future is coming. Are you ready?